All right, Whiskey Jason here, a Whiskey Life Dublin 2022, and I have the privilege of talking together with... Emma Miller here from Hench Distillery. And you are a distiller. Yes. Very, very good. I talked yesterday with Megan from Great Northern Distillery. I love having women in front of the camera to encourage other women to also think about distilling. So how did you get into distilling? Um, so about five or six years ago, I actually went off to Australia yeah. and went on a, oh, what I call an educational trip. Yeah. And <laughs> Some actually, other people call it gap year. <laughs> and I actually got the opportunity to visit loads of breweries, distilleries, yeah. and vineyards. And that's kind of where I fell in love with the process. Yes. Um, I came home and I applied for the master's in brewing and distilling in Edinburgh. Scotland. Same as Megan, I did right. the same year as Megan. Yes. yes. And then I worked over in Scotland in a gin distillery for almost two years oh. and then moved home. Excellent. Hitch, and I've been here for almost two years. So. Excellent, excellent. Now, let's talk very briefly about the distilling process. So you take your grains in, yeah. where do you get your grains from? We currently get all our grain from Minch Mill right. in Ireland. Okay, very, very good. And then you have a mill, is it a hammer mill or roller mill, how do you do that? Uh, roller mill for rollers, yep. um, with a 1.1 ton crisp in. Yep. Um, all right, you're doing good, you're doing good. Okay, no problem, perfect. Now, um, what is very interesting is, I think you only make single malt. You don't make single pot still, or do you? Uh, we are making currently uh, triple distilled single malt right. at the moment. Not going to roll out pot still. Um, also, not going to roll out potentially peated single yeah. malt. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're going to. We're a very young distillery. We yeah. get the opportunity to play about with a lot of things, yeah. and why not? Because we have a great opportunity here, so we can do what we, do what we like and try to make the best product possible. Now, what's more fun for you, actually, the distilling process or the maturation and actually tasting all the different um, cast types and what's happening there? A little bit of both. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I really love the distilling process. I, I say that's what got me to yep. fall in love with distilling. Um, also really love the idea of in five, ten years' time being able to pull out some of the liquid that we produced yep. and get to blend it back in or yeah, create something nice. And I, mm. I really love to see a product that I made from the start and see it go right through to fruition at the end, so in a finished bottle. Now you're young enough that you'll actually be able to have an 18 year old whiskey in your lifetime. I hope so. Yeah, I know, I know. So imagine, I mean, yeah. Noel Sweeney today makes something, he will not yeah. see an 18 year old product anymore probably. Who knows, you might get lucky. But um, you actually might actually see maybe even older. How so. old do you hope the Irish whiskey could go? What, what would be a great, great age to experience? Well, I met a distiller who had just retired. He's yes. from Scotland. He had just pulled out a 40-year-old cask that he distilled 40 years ago. Yeah. And he filled it, and him and his whole family were pictured beside it when they were disgorging it again. So that was his retirement present. Yeah. Uh, so that I might be your retirement pre present. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a 40 year old Irish whiskey yeah, here well, made by you. Well, that would be very, very nice. Now, Hinch is a fairly high class distillery from the equipment, from the, the yeah. look, from the feel, from the marketing. Now, what's so special otherwise about Hinch for you? Um, oh. Can I talk about the gin on Yeah, you can talk about gin, and... yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I might edit it out, but who knows? <laughs> um, yeah, the fact that we do not only single malt, but we also do a gin as well. Yeah. Um, as much as I love producing whiskey, I also love making gin. Yeah. It's probably one of my other favorites. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's probably where my heart lies a little bit too All right. in making gin. And you pick the botanicals yourself? Yes, um, so some of them, some of them we get. Um, we just launched one today, actually. Um, oh. And some of the botanicals were picked fresh, yeah. and others were sourced in. Right, very, very, very good. Now, last question. You mm -hmm. almost made it. Uh, Ten years in the future with Irish whis whiskey, where do you see it going? Will it continue to skyrocket as it has? Well, I think it's one of the fastest growing industries, yeah. and it's set to overtake scotch. Don't quote me on that. But I have heard it many times. I'm not sure, uh, but we'll see. Yeah, well, not quote me, but yeah, um, I'd love to see it just keep going up yep. and up and see all these new distilleries taking on. Um, it's really nice to see lots of new distilleries popping up yep. over the country. So, mm. That is nice. Very, very good. And young people like yourself drink some gin and they might make their way over to whiskey, right? Yeah. It's nice to see a lot of females in the distilling yeah. world as well. So. Yeah. If you could give a tip to a female future distiller, what would you say? Go for it. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
I don't know. That's what I, Megan also said. I asked her with any obstacles. She says, no, people actually helped me. Yeah. I mean, it was, just, it, was, it was so encouraging, <laughs> yeah, she yeah, said. I really love it. Um, just get stuck in. Just enjoy. Make the most of it. Learn as much as you can. Yeah. Uh, yeah don't be afraid to ask any questions. Yep. Um, you're always learning every day. Yep. So, yeah. That's a good thing. Very good. Whiskey Jason, we are learning every day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.